Ian, Michael, thank you for joining me. Initial thoughts on today's game, Ian? It's a scruffy game, wasn't it, really? Um, two teams that I felt went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think two teams that weren't looking to get beat more than anything. Um, and I felt overall we probably had the better chances. I think the save that the keepers made from Joe in the first half was excellent. And you see Mitchell shot it the inside of the post and come out late on. Um, I just thought it was a genuinely scrappy game. And uh, like I said, we're happy with what we got. We've got a clean sheet. We obviously got to score goals. And at the moment, that's an area we've got to keep working on. Paul Joe's debut was outstanding. Um, we need to score goals to win games for uh, Michael Ian said scrappier there. The scrappier uh, it got sort of as the game went on. Um, did you feel you were coming out of the game, or did you always think you guys were in it? I felt like we, we were in it the majority of the time, particularly in the second half. Um, we did have a, a few chances. Um, obviously, it's just difficult in the conditions to, to play the football that we know we can play. Um, but I think we've done well towards the end, particularly, and probably could have nicked it at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Ian, particularly in the first half, you mentioned Joe Neal there. It looked like the new system was, was going to work with, with the two up top. Just uh, talk us through moving forward, how you see that being effective with Joe now in the team. Well, the one thing that we've spoke about over the last couple of weeks is the amount of goals we've scored. I think our average is only about 1.5 goals per game, which isn't enough. Um, start of the season, it was a lot higher than that. Uh, we're going through a little bit of a spell at the moment where we're not converting the chances we're creating. Um, and was just getting an additional striker in, and as I felt today, it worked great. You know, we, Mitch looked sharp when he came on, and not saying that he hasn't done in the past, but I felt just having the change at that, at that time, just after 70 minutes, was good. I felt it would give us another uh, an energy, uh, another injection in terms of life into the teams, and as I say, we could have nicked it in that last 15, 20 minutes. But Sean and, Sean and Mitchell have played together for a long time, for the past 18 months, two years. So, um, But as I say, Joe, for his debut, um, playing the league above. Um, I felt first half he was, he was very, very good. Um, and, he, and his ball retention was good. I think it helped Sean. And we, as I say, we created probably two or three really good chances. Um, but again, you know, I have to say, this guy, he, you know, he's only played, this is only his third game. He's been out for a long time. He's been out for nearly a year. So, and if you look at it in the end, we, we had a patched up back four there in terms of, of uh, Michael and David De Haye, who were both did outstanding jobs. Um, and Avan and, and, and Cameron have come and done a good defensive job. Michael's not had a lot to do today, considering. Um, but we'll take that all day. Uh, Michael, first 90 minutes under your belt since returning from injury. Just feel good to be back out there and you're looking to assert yourself in that back line. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it, it was tough as the game went on and started to ramp up a bit. Um, but I feel like I'm getting my fitness back sort of, with each training session, each game. Um, just hoping to, to finish the season strong and injury free. Ian, final one for you. We lost Callum very early on in the game. Any update on, on the situation there? We just don't know. We just got to wait the next sort of 24, 48 hours. He's um, he's lost a feeling in in the leg from the knee down. He's, he's got a kick on the on, on the side of the of the the shin and the calf, and he lost a feeling in there, and it was quite tender and quite sore. So just got to see how it settles down. It's a bit like the one Tom Bender got um, two weeks ago, but Tom was on the fire. This is more on, on on the calf and the and the side of the leg. So hopefully it's just impact. Um, but as I say, 24, 48 hours we'll we'll know more. But again, as we said before, we've got to go and play Hamilton on Tuesday night, um, so we've got to try and get everyone back as, fit, as quick as we can. Great, lovely. Thanks, gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers, Andrew.